Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Artist Spotlight, where we give a brief overview of artists who may not be discussed as much as other popular artists. And today's pick is the legendary mento soprano herself, Ms. Florence Cavar. Florence was born in 1940 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She began her musical journey at a very young age, singing in her church choir and taking voice lessons. One of the defining moments of Quiva's early career came in the 1970s, when she was chosen to perform in the world premiere of Duke Ellington's opera, Queenie Pie. This performance solidified Quiva's place as one of the leading mezzo sopranos of her time, and showcased her versatility as a performer, able to seamlessly switch between classical and jazz genres. Throughout her career, Quiva worked with some of the biggest names in classical music and opera, including Robert Shaw, Leonard Bernstein, and Luciano Pavrotti. She also performed at some of the world's most renowned venues, such as the Metropolitan Opera, Carnegie Hall, and the Royal Opera House in London. And now we will take a brief listen to Florence Quiva singing Que Farro Senza Eurydice from Gluck's opera Orfeo and Eurydice. In 1976, Quivar portrayed Serena in the Cleveland Orchestra's production of Gershwin's Porgy and Bess. The concert was recorded and went on to win a Grammy Award for Best Opera Recording. The following year, Quivar made her debut at the Tanglewood Festival, singing in the world premiere of Roger Sessions when Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Bloomed with the Boston Symphony Orchestra. She also made her Metropolitan Opera debut on October 10, 1977, as Marina and Boris Gudunov. She became a regular at the Met during the 1980s and the 1990s, appearing as Yocasta in Oedipus Rex, Suzuki in Madama Butterfly, Isabella in Litaniana in Algeri, Federica in Louisa Miller, Fides in La Prophète, La Frugola in Il Tabaro, Mother Marie in the Dialogues of the Carmelites, Louis XV's Chair in L'Enfant et le Sotilège, The Princess in Sua Angelica, Ulrika in Un Balo in Mascara, and Serena in Porgy and Bess. Her 101st and last performance at the Met was a concert performance of Verdi's Requiem in 1977, where she sang the mezzo soprano solos under the baton of Marshall Levine. Quivar's other opera credits include performances at the Deutsche Opera in Berlin, the Bavarian State Opera, La Scala, Teatro La Venice, Teatro dell'Opera di Roma, Teatro Municipal in Rio de Janeiro, Teatro Colón, the Royal Opera at Covent Garden. Quivar's other opera credits include performances at the Deutsche Opera in Berlin, the Bavarian State Opera, La Scala, Teatro La Venice, Teatro dell'Opera di Roma, Teatro Municipal in Rio de Janeiro, Teatro Colón, The Royal Opera at Covent Garden, Houston Grand Opera, Seattle Opera, and the Los Angeles Opera, among many others. Her other roles include Alta Giza in Norma, the title role in Carmen, Erda in Siegfried and Das Rheingold, Brigenda in Tristan und Isolde, and Orfeo in Gluck's Orfeo in Eurydice. And now we will hear a clip of Florence Quivar singing Ulrika's aria in Verdi's Un Ballo in Mascara. Quivar also participated in master classes with Maureen Forrester 
where she would begin to focus on leader and oratorio. She also would go on to win the Baltimore Lyric Opera Competition and later return to New York where she won the prestigious Marian Anderson Award. If I had to classify Florence Quivar's voice, I would say she definitely possessed a dramatic mezzo-soprano voice with an easy, beautiful, plush top that would make one wonder what it would have sounded like if she took on more, maybe low-lying soprano parts. I would have to say I would have loved to hear her uh, do Lady Macbeth because that is a role that a lot of mezzos who have easy tops do sing very well. And now we will hear Florence Quivar sing one of those soprano roles. This is a small clip of her singing the aria My Man's Gone Now from Gershwin's opera Porgy and Bess. In addition to her successful career as a performer, Quivar was also a dedicated educator and advocate for diversity in classical music. She was a professor at several universities, including the Manhattan School of Music and the New England Conservatory, where she inspired countless young musicians. Today, Florence Quivar remains an inspiration to musicians and music lovers everywhere, a testament to the power of hard work, talent, and dedication. She will always be remembered as one of the greatest mezzo sopranos of all time. So there you have it, a brief look at the life and legacy of Florence Quivar. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment for more. And now to take us out, our final clip will be Florence Quivar singing the spiritual Ride On Jesus. Thank mm -hmm. you.